Hey everyone, um, back again. Thought I'd let you guys see my progress or lack of it. Um, let's see, what did I do today? Let's see, I uh, well, I made the hammerheads right there, the boom tips. See those? Here's the ones with the red. And um, I worked on these masks. They're primed right now. You have to still paint them. But I drilled them out for the uh, connections for the pennants. Um, did a little painting, a little touching up on some things that needed it. Uh, I cut some extra parts out so for the next batch of cranes. Uh, so I already got a head start on that right there. Um, there's a couple of things like that loader and that truck down there just to give you an idea of the scale of this crane. It's also a 40 ton grow truck crane right there. Those are in, that's a gigantic uh, tape measure. So I don't know what to, what to say about that. The tape measure is bigger than that loader. But uh, those are, uh, it's a gigantic tape measure. Um, anyways. That's where I'm at. Uh, didn't get around to any of this hoist stuff today. You know, I said I was, but I didn't. I lied. So, uh, maybe tomorrow. I decided that uh, these are not going to have super lifts on them. They're just going to be simple swing, hoist, and boom. Basically three channels. But they do always have the uh, the uh, capability of adding more. You know, like for instance, when you have these this boom head on here, that's already uh, drilled out for a lock attachment. You know, and uh, and the radials are all six channels that come with these, so there's always, uh, you know, room to grow, to add on, like a lot, to add a lot on, you know, you know, that would be another motor controller, or another motor, or an end hoist, you know, and some boom. So, and some mass. So, you know, would that, that would be like two, three hundred dollars probably ballpark to get a, a, a luck attachment if somebody already had bought one of these and they wanted to go up. Same thing with a super lift. Um, that's another boom, you know, sticks out the back. Another hoist, you know, a bunch of pennants and, uh, you know, a counterway tray. So that's what's nice about these. You can configure them like a real crane. So you can start out with the uh, three channel. Then you can go from there. You want to add, you could always have two hoists too. I haven't done that yet, but uh, it'd be easy to do. Um, you run a block and a whip, and it's, and I uh, these might have lights on them. I don't know because uh, the lights. I decided that uh, why waste a channel on lights? So I'm in the future when I have the lights, so I'm just going to get uh, when the power goes on, the lights are going to come on and, and stay on. So uh, that'll be uh, nice, and they will not be taking up a channel in the radio. So. That's, uh, that's where we're at. And um, tomorrow I'm going to try and get uh, get them hoists made. And then after that, it should go pretty quick because the booms are done. Basically, I have to make the uh, cable guides yet. So that'll be, uh, see, it'll be one on the, on the on the bottom, and that'll be a, a two. Uh, the, the cable guys will be like two, you know, two shift guides, so they're ready for uh, adding a second drum or a loft in the future. You know, you'll, you're, uh, <clears throat> you'll be ready for that. So that'll, these will always be set up for uh, adding on and making better. Uh, so uh, basically, there we go. It's uh, pretty simple to add that stuff on.
counterweight. You know, there's a lot more to this counterweight than you would think. You think, oh, yeah, you just cut some metal out and, and paint it and bam, you know, what, how hard is that? Well, you got to cut it out and you got to grind the edges off of it, you know, deburr it. Then you got to polish it a little bit. You know, I decided not to really go all out what I, like I did with my last counterweight and just just polish it just enough. And then paint it, and uh, basically just the top pieces get paint. The rest of them just have paint on the sides. Yeah, so it'd be kind of a waste to paint the whole thing. So although some of them might have paint on the top, you know, but most of them uh, I'm just trying to paint the uh, edges now. Save on paint and and everything else. Uh, still have to put the uh, these here on round the bottom of the uh, jacks. I got to weld these to the bolts. So, uh, that and, uh, really, that's not, you know, if everything's going pretty good, you know, you have to drill the holes in these yet for the, the uh, hoist that sits on the, uh, on here to operate the mass. But other than that, everything is pretty much done. So, it's just a matter of getting the uh, hoist built. You know, drilling some holes for the hoist here, and the the other uh, the other hoist will mount on the boom. And uh, swing motors are already installed. You just throw in the electric the electrics in, the electronics in, and and that's it. And then uh, selling these and making another batch. So, uh, anyways, yeah, every day I have to like pretty much stop and clean up this place. It gets such a mess down here. So, broke the saw blade. Um, let's see. That's about it. Here's a... I laid some boom out to see exactly uh, how much boom I have, and uh, looks like I got enough for seven more cranes uh, as far as boom. So, <clears throat> it may be a little bit extra for maybe a luff or something like that. But basically, I'm going to keep the the, the uh, cranes to uh, two sections, a tip and a butt, and uh, which you know works out to like I don't know what's that, it's, uh, like 150 foot of boom, something like that, 130, 150. But that gives you the uh, capacity to lift uh, 10 plus pounds. These are th these are 2,000 tonners, and that's a, they'll pick a thousand tons and go out with it 100 foot scale feet. No problem. So uh, that's where we're at there. So that's how these are all going to go out, and then it's up to whoever wants to to add more boom to them or so and so. And uh, I'm going to try and get a chart too uh, made up for these. Something pretty simple, I guess. Uh, let's see, a real chart is every five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty feet. So I don't know what this will be every, uh, you know, maybe five, ten inches. I don't know. We'll see. You know what? I have to just scale it down to 150th. So with that, uh, I think that pretty much covers it. And uh, <clears throat> tomorrow, hopefully I'll get some of these hoists started. And, uh, yeah, hopefully... Before the weekend, I should have uh, these two cranes done and ready to go. So, uh, sorry about the long video, but I figured I'd give you guys an update. Here's an overhead shot. And uh, that's it for now. Talk to you guys later. Bye.